This video is about getting width into your swing. I'm Philip Sparks from Easier Swing, and I'm going to dive deep into this subject and help you to find an easy way to get width into your golf swing. We all know that uh, the, the pros are working towards getting a wider swing. They're trying to create more power. And I want to show you in a second how we can try and uh, create as much width as possible. And then I'm going to show you another way to do the same thing, and we'll just have a look and see what is the difference. So the pros, when they're swinging, they're trying to keep their lead arm as straight as possible. They're trying to create as much width as possible in the backswing here to create the widest possible position here. Why are they doing that? Well, because the wider the swing of the club head is, the shallower the bottom of the golf swing is. So they're trying to create this extra width in the backswing with keeping this arm as straight as possible to create as much width as possible. At the same time, they're trying to create a coil with the shoulders, with a resistance in the lower body here. So you keep your head still, you turn as much as possible in the shoulders, but you resist that turn in the lower body. That apparently is gonna create you as much width as possible. I have to tell you, I think that actually what's happening is I'm creating tension. I'm not creating power, I'm creating tension. And is that tension gonna deliver more club head speed to the ball, that tension? I don't believe so. So I'm gonna show you an alternative way uh, where instead of stretching out like that, I'd be much more relaxed and I'd move like this. Now, I'm sure you can agree that doesn't look anything like as difficult. But if you look at the graphics, you'll see it's actually wider. How can that be wider than what you just saw a moment ago? How can it be wider? Well, it's all because of the movement I make in my body. If I'm trying to keep my head absolutely still, and I'm trying to stretch and create width and coil, I can only get to this maximum point here. But if I allow my, my head to move a little, I can be relaxed and I can go way further, much wider swing. So if you found anything on the internet about easier swing, if you've read the book, Positive Impact Golf, if you've seen it on YouTube and you want to know more about it, go to easierswing.club. There we have online community of people who are actually like-minded, who understand the way this works. And they're challenging each other, they're asking each other questions. We've got coaches in there who are helping to solve problems for people, we have workshops, videos. There's loads of information there. It's growing all the time, all on the basis of the easiest swing. Come and join us there. Once I get this extra movement here, my arm can be more relaxed. It doesn't have to be as straight. I can just easily relax it. What else can I do that will actually accentuate this, this width into my golf swing? Well, again, my left heel is a little bit rigid, a bit stuck to the floor, so I can move that off, off the ground a little bit more. Kick my knee in a little bit. In fact, the very last lesson my brother gave me last year was move this knee more. Because apparently, as I was going back, even though I was letting my heel come off the ground, the knee was staying too straight that way. And that's a, an echo back from the days when I was trying to create coil back in the, the bad old days. So kick the knee and let the heel come off. Let yourself have some lateral movement because by doing that, where am I gonna go from here? I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna create more width in my follow through as well. So let's see what that all looks like. Let's put it all together. I could stand here all year and never hit a better golf shot than that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you're new to our channel, just like and subscribe. Look at the links below. All the details are there. Everything that we do at Easier Swing.